be Thursday. Thursday, I don't know. Mixed opinions on the day, personally. Don't know how I feel about it. Regardless, it's another day to do something different. Another day to live life to the fullest. And that's what I intend to do today. Welcome back to the vlog. Another week, another uh, solo adventure. Monday. This is the end of this vlog, but it's just going to be the start of uh, the next vlog. You know, it's around the time of where people are going to be applying for university or have applied for university or they're finding out if they get into university and whatnot. I'm not sure how it's working this year because of panoramic happening around us. So obviously my university experience has been a lot different to other people's university experience years before, but I this is kind of the general thing that happens to everyone. You do a lot of work. <laughs> so if you do like a BTEC subject, it's probably a lot like that. Um, obviously with BTEC you get the granted bonus of being able to submit your work before and then get it checked and then uploading it again so I'm quite lucky from that retrospect that I had that experience of doing that. Basically my tip is like your degree don't go with something that because someone else is doing it or it'll be the best thing to do. No because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time you have to put in you have to like what you're doing. Personally for me I absolutely love my degree. I can't literally I wouldn't do anything else for the world. It's because I do my degree as a hobby as well is that it doesn't feel like I'm studying. It's not studying for me it's learning and that's the difference between university and secondary school and college to secondary school is that I'm a student in something I want to do therefore it's not it doesn't feel like studying it you know it's I feel like I'm gaining a lot from it so do what you feel like you'd love to do if the workload is going to seem a lot heavier due to the current circumstance obviously I don't know what your living life is like at home I can't see that but say if you're in year 11 and you're living at home it's gonna be a lot different now if you're moving into dorms because you not only have to do your work but you also have to look after yourself you have to make your bed in the mornings you have to do your own shopping you have to do your own cooking there's a lot to think about so you have to keep that in mind that if you want that responsibility over yourself as well as finding the time to study you're going to meet a lot more people than you think um even in an online setting where we get online socials and societies we did have societies at the start of the year and we're going to have societies next term you meet a lot more people than you think even in your dorms the people around you everything you're going to meet so many more people than you would ever imagine and you'll meet a lot more like-minded people like yourself get involved get involved is such a big thing especially with societies as soon as you can get involved i'm currently running for committee for one of my societies it's, it's such a fun way to not only get in contact with people from your own year but also people in the years above for me personally this is a massive help especially that people in the years above do my degree they give me tips they tell me stuff about what to expect and what to do because when you're picking a university you don't only have to think about the course you also have to think about the location are they going to give you the right support that you need to get through those three years let yourself have fun and this is not in the sense of have fun and go crazy all the time this is the sense of have fun let yourself have your weekends let yourself have a day off let yourself chill you know no one expects you to be working 24 7 all the time calendars calendars are a massive tip google calendars get your timetabled stuff in there uh, of when your lectures and seminars and everything is do that with your days make sure you have you know where your free time is and you know where you can spend it and what you're going to do but yeah that about does it for today thank you for joining me as always if you want to subscribe you can subscribe if you don't want to subscribe let me let you into a little secret you don't have to subscribe i know it's crazy i'll see you later and goodbye